أورنج كاونتي كاليفورنيا أيقونة السياحة الأمريكية وصلنا إلى موطن الجمال والسحر حيث نناشد المزيد ونلاحظ برهان الإثارة دخلنا المتاحف وأروقة الفن وطفنا بمنازل قادة العالم وإن تعددت وتفرقت خطواتنا بين أجراس الكنائس وسطور التاريخ فإن الشغف واحد إنها أورنج كاونتي كاليفورنيا أرض الفردوس الأمريكي شيك إن تي في تحط بكم الرحال في مقاطعة أورنج كاونتي كاليفورنيا بداية الجولة ستكون من بذرة المكان من أمام معلم بعثة سانت كوان كابيسترينو أنصتوا إلى سيرة المكان مع حراس التاريخ ميشن ساوان كابيسترينو is a proud host over 330,000 visitors a year 73,000 of them California students studying California early history The mission is a home to many people of different faith traditions, historic interests, a diverse population that wants to come somewhere that's wholesome and a connection of the present to the past. Welcome to the Mission Sao and Capistrano. We hope you have a great time. And next up, you'll be with Megan Duquette, our education manager, who's going to give you a behind the scenes look at some of the special assets and attributes of our history on the grounds. Enjoy your walk, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Welcome to Mission San Juan Capistrano, the jewel of the missions. We're currently standing uh, in front of the Bell Wall. It's one of the most iconic spots throughout all the mission grounds. It's beautiful, it's gorgeous, but it also represents our history here at the mission. The Spanish began to colonize California in 1769 and began building missions throughout the coast of California. Our mission, the 7th of 21, was established on November 1st, 1776. And with them, they brought two Franciscan priests, or padres, as it's said in, in Spanish, six soldiers, and their goal was to create a colonial outpost and to entice the local Native American population to join this community. And one of the ways that they created a community was using these bells. The bells represented a lot of the new changes that were coming to, to Orange County or here at Mission San Juan Capistrano. They rang in new traditions like marriages and births and baptisms, but they also regulated your daily schedule. So the bells would ring every day to announce the day's work, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And it kind of rang in a new tradition among the people here in Orange County, the local Native American community people who joined Mission Sound. Uh, we're currently standing in the Mission Central Courtyard. It's the heart of Mission San Juan Capistrano. And in many respects, it has always been kind of the bustling and go-to place for the mission community. Back in the mission period, the mission's first 60 years after 1776, this was a place where most of the work was being done. When the Native Americans decided to join the mission and were baptized here, they were learning life skills that the Spanish taught them, including ranching and farming, and they did other industries like uh, weaving wool, producing tallow soap, and all of that industry was happening right here in the central courtyard. Now it looks beautiful today, but back then it, not so much. It was open and dirt area. And in the 20th century, the beautiful gardens and the fountains were installed here at the mission. And right behind us, if you can see a big red dome, that's actually the Mission Basilica Church. It was built in the 1980s, and it's modeled off the ruins of the Great Church great stone church and is this on a slightly bigger scale. It's beautiful and if you have time, it's a must see.
بقية أسطر التاريخ لا تزال تتدفأ بشموع كنيسة سيرا التاريخية We're currently standing in Sarah Chapel, one of the most historically significant churches in California. It was built in 1782, and it is the only remaining mission church in which Father Sarah, Father Junipero Sarah, celebrated Mass. It is beautiful. There are historic 18th century paintings lining the walls. And in the very back is a beautiful golden altar, a retablo, that was installed in the 20th century, but is very historic and dates back to the 1600s. You cannot come to Mission San Juan Capistrano without visiting this beautiful and historic church. We're standing in the ruins of the Great Stone Church. We're called the Jewel of the Missions because of this place. The Great Stone Church took nine long years to build. The entire community, the Native American Ahashiman community, used their hands, hand carved the stones that are a part of this church. It is absolutely beautiful, but unfortunately, the church only stood intact for six years. On December 8, 1812, in an early morning mass, an earthquake struck. And according to the reports from the Franciscan Padres, the bell tower, which once stood right behind me where you see the bells, fell in on top of the building. Forty people died. They were buried alive under the rubble. And it took about two months to retrieve all the bodies and have those people buried. The mission would community decided not to build a great stone church. Instead, it stood as a memorial to the people that they lost. And so today, as you walk around the mission and you explore this place, it speaks of the people who have come before us, who have called Mission San Juan Capistrano their home. لما تيجي تزور اورنج كاونتي كاليفورنيا اكيد راح تروح على الشواطئ اكيد راح تجرب المطاعم اللي فيها الاسواق الكثيره اللي فيها بس اهم شيء لازم تكتشف التاريخ تبعها الاصاله اللي هو الماضي اول ما استوطنت امريكا الناس اللي سكنوا فيها استوطنوا هاي المدينه في اورنج كاونتي وخصيصا في المدينه المتواجدين فيها احنا حاليا اللي هي مدينه سان خوان كابسترينو Just a few steps away from Mission San Juan Capistrano is the historic Los Rios district. It has been used as a, a community or a neighborhood for over 200 years. Since 1794, people have been living in this area. And you can still come and visit it today. The oldest adobe building we have in the Los Rios district dates back to 1794. And many of the historic homes are, are, are currently used as museums, as cafes, 
and you can even um, experience a boutique in some of these historic buildings. Also in Los Rios is the historic train depot where people still come and use it every day to come and stop by downtown and explore the mission as well as the historic downtown. way that tourists or guests like to come experience San Juan Capistrano is actually by taking the train. So thousands of people every day come and use the train and experience downtown San Juan Capistrano and Mission San Juan Capistrano. There are a lot of things you can do in Los Rios, including visiting cafes, going to the special boutiques, or visiting the park where you can learn more about the historic district um, and neighborhood that's been basically occupied for over 200 years. مرحبا فيكم في اورنج كاونتي كاليفورنيا اذا جيت في يوم من الايام على اورنج كاونتي لازم تيجي على الفندق الاجمل الموجود فيها اللي هو فيرمونت هوتل الواقع في نيو بورت بيتش لعده اسباب اهمها اللوكيشن تبعه ممتاز جدا من خلاله بنقدر نسوي شوبينج بنروح نجرب الريستورانتس في عندهم اكل كتير زاكي قبل ما نبلش في هاي الشغلات لازم اول شيء نكتشف الفيرمونت هوتل سو ليتس جو ناو I'm Carl Kruger, General Manager of the Fairmont Newport Beach in Newport Beach, California. And it's nice to welcome you to my hotel. We have um, 440 guest rooms in the hotel, which have uh, 54 suites. The 54 suites have beautiful red tile patios, which overlook the landscape grounds that you see behind me. And um, all of the rooms are about 380 to 400 square feet. And uh, as you enter the rooms, you find marble entryways as well as a marble bathroom, marble um, um, countertops, and uh, all well appointed. The Fairmont Newport Beach is a full service hotel. Um, we have a lot of opportunity for both the leisure traveler and the corporate and group traveler. Um, we have a full service concierge. Uh, we have in-house um, uh, desk for rental of cars so you don't have to pick it up elsewhere in the, uh, in the Orange County area. Um, and we also have 22,000 square feet of indoor meeting space for groups and meetings, uh, as well as 9,000 square feet of outdoor California meeting space, um, which we're standing in right now. Um, for activities in the hotel, we have um, a lot here on property. We have tennis um, in the outdoors. We have two tennis courts. We also have on the third floor a full service spa, as well as uh, a large uh, swimming pool area that's decked with 12 cabanas. Uh, the swimming pool area is, uh, is very heavily used during the summer of July and August with our long-term stay customers who come in and, and reside here. I'd like to extend an invitation to our friends from the Arabian market to come to Newport Beach, come to the Newport Beach Fairmont and visit us so that we can take care of your needs and, um, and your families.
Welcome to the culinary side of the Fairmont Newport Beach. I'm executive chef Brian Doherty, and I'd like to prepare a dish for you. Uh, tonight, we're gonna prepare a pistachio crusted halibut with a saffron and morel rice with sweet peas and favas. This is his pistachio crusted halibut with the basmati, saffron rice with northern California mushrooms. The Alaskan halibut is one of the finest fishes in the region. قسم السبا لا يبعد سوى خطوات عنك، فكن بين أقسامه وتمتع بخدمات التدليك والتجميل أيضا. حوض السباحة بانتظار مصافحتك له بالخارج فلب الدعوة التي لا تقاوم قسم اللياقة والرياضة مساحة من تجديد الصحة والإرادة بأشكاله المتعددة قد اتخذ من المكان موطنا له. Hello, I'm Mike Tauber and I create landscapes and ceramic tile. I've been exhibiting at the Festival of Arts in Laguna Beach since 1998 and we have 140 artists exhibiting here. It runs in July and August every year and uh, I basically have a booth here with about 15 or 25 pieces of my art on exhibit and I greet uh, visitors every day that come to the Festival of Arts. People view my art and they purchase it and people come here from all around the world to uh, view the Festival of Arts and, and purchase art to take it home. The Festival of Arts is a wonderful place for artists to exhibit. It is a juried show, so you have to apply to get in and uh, you send in your uh, images to the jury and then they'll select from all the artists and narrow it down to uh, the 140 artists that are able to exhibit. And so this is a wonderful place as an artist uh, for someone to exhibit and sell their work. I'll be able to meet a real lot of new people that come through. Uh, I do have a lot of clients that come here every year to look at my new work and collect pieces. And it's also a great place to build camaraderie with other professional artists who network together. We also meet galleries that come here to look for uh, uh, artists to represent. So it's a great opportunity both to meet people as well as to make professional alliances. الرسم بكل الألوان والمواد مباح على هذه اللوحات فتمتع. My name is Diane Chalice Davy. I'm director of Pageant of the Masters in Laguna Beach, California. Here in Laguna Beach, we produce a show which incorporates living pictures or tableau vivant into a very entertaining program. We perform it here in Laguna Beach at an amphitheater which seats 2,600 people. And every night, our bowl, our amphitheater, is full of people who want to see us recreate all of these works of art, all of the paintings and sculptures we recreate using live people who are our volunteer cast members. And uh, each and every one of these artworks we reproduce on stage, 
with live music and we do a lot of storytelling as well. So it's, it's a complete package of an entertaining show all around the idea of living pictures. Beach is a really beautiful beach town and first of all if we didn't have a pageant if we didn't have an art festival people come to Laguna Beach from all over the world from the Orient from the Middle East from Europe people come here to see the beautiful beaches and the landscape it really is very much like the French Riviera here in town but what Laguna Beach has here in is is very unique as far as this art festival the the focus and uh, of all every, everybody on uh, wonderful works of art we have our art exhibit here in Laguna there are 140 exhibiting artists out on the grounds and we do our pageant in our bowl um, many times I see people from foreign countries who come here to enjoy it and we always incorporate international art uh, into our show we do uh, occasionally have our art from the Middle East, and as I said, uh, Japan, uh, uh, Germany, England, France, uh, even Africa. This year we have a piece of sculpture that's from Mali, West Africa. So we're very proud that we incorporate a whole world of art into our show. <laughs> 